Hello all, today I'm coming at you from Surfer's Paradise where it is a veritable culinary melting pot. You can get everything here, you can get Chinese, Japanese, Italian, you can even get waffles in the shape of human genitalia. They really do have everything here, but I'm in the mood for Filipino food. I've always wanted to check that out and apparently uh, one of these places here has the best Filipino food on the Gold Coast. So I'm down at Usok Bar and Grill to check it out, see if it's any good. Oh yeah, cheers. Thanks. Um, I don't know. Nah, it's okay. Thanks. Cheers. Um, yeah. Well, you know the Gold Coast. It it, it really does have all types. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I've uh, I've already been to uh, this Usok place, and I am uh, I'm ready to get stuck into it. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, I found myself a nice little corner on the beach to squat in and uh, I'm gonna get stuck into my Filipino feast. Let's have a look. First of all, I have this uh, pandan halo halo. Looking pretty good and alluring in the cling wrap there. Next, I got these skewers. I got the, uh, the normal pork one and I got the pork intestine. Hang on, wait a minute. I think this is the pork and this is the pork intestine yes that is definitely pork intestine there you can see the hole interesting i don't think i've ever intentionally eaten pork intestine before like in hot dogs and whatnot i probably have a few times but never a whole like intestine so i'm i'm excited next well and and also finally the main dish is the uh lechon kawaii i think it's called yeah cut Lechong kawaii? Lechong kawaii? I don't know. Any Filipino speakers, please uh, please correct me on my pronunciation. Anyway, I'm keen. Oh, well, I'm trying to wrestle this open. That's a bit tricky. Look at this. Wow. That does look pretty nice there. It is pork belly and rice, if that is not immediately obvious. And uh, some sort of sauce there. I do forget what it was called. Anyway, I might start with the skewers. So first off, the pork one here. Yum, that uh, that does look good. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. That has obviously been like marinated for a bit. It's actually really sweet. There's like a sweet sauce to it. Cooked really nice. Yum. There's a fair bit of pork and this was 550 I think, so really not a bad price. Moving on now, though, to the pork intestine. Now, um, there, there is, they apparently do eat like a fair bit of uh, interesting foods in the Philippines. I know that um, that duck egg thing. It's called my loose. I don't know if I could eat that, but um, yeah, pork intestine. Good to see them using the entire beast. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. Wow, wow. That is not what I was expecting at all. This is uh, really crispy on the outside. Well, you know, crispy, not super crispy. And then soft on the inside. I thought it was going to be super, super chewy, but it's not at all. You can, um, like the fat just kind of bursts out. Again, I think it's using the same sauce as the, uh, as the pork there, but um, this is good. This is really good. It's such a different texture to most meats. I could uh, I could eat 20 of these. These are good. Wow, interesting. There is a seagull here eyeing off my pork, but uh, I'm not gonna give him any. All right, let's try this, uh, this pork. It looks quite good. I do love pork belly. And let's admit, it's hard to get it super wrong. Can you shush? Oh my God, there's two now. I think he heard my uh, my comments, he's, he's protesting. Anyway, let's just get stuck into this uh, this pork belly. She did give me, she gave me three forks, I think, suggesting that I got, you know, three people's worth of food here, but anyway, let's give it a go. Whoa, there's a lot of pork. All righty.
Mmm. Mmm. Wow. They haven't done a lot to this pork belly. It tastes like regular barbecue pork belly, but they've done a little bit of stuff, and what they've done is quite good. It's, um, it's, it's really pretty salty, but just on the skin. Like, they've added some salt to the skin, and um, it's nice. It's like this chicken stock sort of flavor. I don't know what it is. Like, it even reminds me of, like, uh, like a chip flavoring somehow. It's good, though. It's got rice to the side. Mmm. Good rice. Just what you'd expect. I don't know if you were supposed to put the sauce on the rice and pork, but I did. Um, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That actually really elevates the pork. The sweetness kind of cuts through the, the fatty flavor there. So it's a pretty sweet sauce and like pretty fruity. I do wonder what's in it. Mmm. And it's good with the rice. It, I, I, I think they probably make that in-house because it doesn't, it doesn't taste like sauce from a bottle. It's got a little bit of um, spice to it. A little bit, not much. But it is really good. Wow, that actually makes the pork much better. It was pretty good to start with. It was, it was well cooked. But with this addition of the sauce, yum. Mmm. Can't stop eating. All round. My last thing is a little treat, a dessert. It was um, it was pretty expensive, like eleven dollars or something. But you do get a fair bit here. I am I am talking about sorry the uh, the Halo Halo dessert. Now I've heard a lot about these. I've seen some videos on the internet. It, it seems like Filipinos really love their drinks, like put in a lot of effort with with drinks. I'm just going to take the Glad wrap off. Cling wrap. Sorry, not to. Uh, this is not. Not sponsored by my Glad Wrap. Well, I should be. If, if Glad Wrap wants to sponsor me, then um, send me a DM. But anyway, let's um, let's have a look. Wow. So I'm not entirely sure what's in this, um, but I can see like bits of jelly, some sago pearls or whatever, ice cream, and uh, jelly. And this is of course pandan flavored. I do love pandan. You don't get a lot of it in Australia, unfortunately. Anyway, let's give it a go. I didn't get anything. What is going on? This straw is like clogged. Give that another go. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yum. Well, I think it's like clogged with... Uh, ice cream but you can definitely taste like some coconut in there like proper coconut and uh, it, it does also have like shaved ice in it so that's what keeps it cold well and the ice cream obviously um wow I don't know if that's like actually milk in that or something else this does seem like a drink that you can enjoy for a long time There's a lot happening in it. There's jelly, lots of different bits to enjoy. Yum. Personally, I love chunks of stuff in my drinks. Some people don't, they find it a bit gross, but I like it. And this is really good. Mm. I just tasted those, um, those pearls, like those tapioca pearls or whatever. Really good. Yeah. This is good stuff. This is almost a meal in itself. You know, I could see myself going here just for the Halo Halo. It is really good. I mean, it's a drink and a dessert in one. So, um, yeah, yum. So there we go. That was my Filipino food adventure. I really enjoyed that. I'm keen to check out more Filipino food. There's not like that many Filipino food restaurants in Australia, given the amount of like Filipino people in Australia. The, uh, the, the diaspora is huge, but you know, there's not like a lot of places where you can get Filipino, Filipino food, which is unfortunate, but um, it does seem to be increasing. So maybe there's more and more. Um, one thing though, I am curious about with Filipino food 
which is the word Filipino, actually. Because how come, how come the country, the Philippines, is spelt with a PH, but when like, you use an adjective form, like Filipino language or food or people, it begins with an F? I don't know any other word in English that, uh, that, that changes the, the first letter when you, when you change like, what type of word it is. That's quite unique, I think. Um, something to ponder and explore. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas why that is. Uh, anyway, I will leave it there. Many thanks for watching. Check out your uh, local ethnic cuisines that are around you. They're, they're probably pretty good. Anyway, I will, uh, I will catch you later. Cheers. Mmm. Get more of this uh, that pork belly stuff. Mmm. Yum. Like the meat, the fat, and the skin. It's like three separate things in one. It's like eating three things at once. Really good. I'm still not any closer to knowing why. Well, um, 